everybody, Brendan Parker back again with another tutorial on his Master 788 account. Um, uh, don't forget to check me out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace. My MySpace is actually a music MySpace. So you can check out some of the music and remix that I've done so far. With beats and everything. And uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Final Cut a lot more. I just got Final Cut Pro, which is Final Cut Pro 7. And uh, I'm going to show you a lot of things with Final Cut and everything. And actually, not only I have Final Cut Pro, but I have Final Cut Studio, and I'll be doing some motion tutorials in there uh, in a little bit and uh, and everything. Uh, if you just want a tutorial on that, let me know. And uh, so far, I'm going to show you a lot more features that I, that I can do with uh, Final Cut Pro, as opposed to what I've been using, which was Final Cut Express. What I was doing in Final Cut Express was uh, different things and stuff, and which uh, which was pretty. Uh, basic and everything and it was pretty nice for what it was and I wanted to uh, express more uh, uh, the different things I wanted to go deeply into Final Cut editing and uh, I wanted to mess around with Final Cut a lot more so in order to do that I wanted to go to the Mr. Pro version and mess around with motion and everything so I wanted to do a lot more better editing and a lot more better videos and everything so what I'm going to show you is a little bit what I've done in this video so far and a lot of people who do band videos and everything and, and stuff like that, a lot of them are, are using Sony Vegas because a lot of people have Windows and everything. And, and not a lot of people have Mac you know, and whatever. But for those who have Macs and everything, I want to go back and do a lot more tutorials and everything for Mac people and everything. And of course me because I'm a Mac user. And like I said, I'm going to show you uh, what I've done in this video so, so far. So, check it out. And here it is. Now, and, and now in some of the videos that I've done for my, which is my fan video account, which is Fantasy Art, a lot of people, if I've never told anyone or anybody or anything, or if you never came across this uh, tutorial or whatever for Final Cut, you re you'll never realize that I've actually done this in uh, Final Cut. And w which is amazing is that uh, it's pretty similar to Sony Vegas in a lot of ways. So, but there's a little bit of a tiny bit of differences. What I'm saying with the tiny bit of differences is the fact that with Final Cut, what you can do is um, uh, like the transitions, they come in a lot smoother in Final Cut than they do in Sony Vegas. And also what is a little different is rendering happens here in Final Cut as well as it does in Sony Vegas. But the only thing that's different between that is instead of rendering at the end like you do in Sony Vegas, you actually render while you're editing. And I'm going to show you that right now. And I showed you a little bit in Final Cut Express, but I'm doing this tutorial for Final Cut Pro and I have a lot more features to mess around with and everything. So I'm going to show you a little bit on how to mess around with uh, Final Cut a lot more and show you the rendering, what I mean about that. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this clip and then I'm going to pick a part of what I want out of this clip and what I've done in, in this clip so far is I added a motion blur to it and I'm going to flip this clip okay, to right about there which looks like a good spot okay okay and, and as I'm editing right now you can see this little red line above the timeline which is, which is saying that I need to render now, if you have really good memory and everything on your Mac or whatever, and you have like, I'd say pretty much more than four gigabytes of memory, you'd probably be able to do the unlimited uh, RT, which will allow you to uh, view your video clips without rendering. And what I've done, uh, uh, the reason why I, I have to do uh, this uh, safe RT, the reason why I'm doing that right now, is because, and messing around with the rendering, is because uh, my clips are not in uh, .mov, which what is what Mac really likes to use and everything. So what I'm doing is I'm using uh, AVI format because uh, a lot of movies that I download and everything that I'm trying to do a fan video for or whatever that I find uh, uh, that I download and everything, uh, they come in AVI format and a lot of times uh, I'll try to, if I can, and, and my Mac uh, 
renders or uh, process the video and everything really fast. Then I'll render them and, or convert them to .mov. If it, but a lot of times it'll take a long time to do it, so I won't do it at all. So I'll, I'll just leave it in uh, AVI format. And to mess around with AVI format and everything to to edit it in Final Cut, you have to have um, uh, this uh, uh, plugin, which is a DivX Codec plugin. And you go to, uh, and I'll put a link in the description to DivX uh, to their website, and you can download uh, the plugin and everything, a free trial to it, which uh, uh, which is kind of hard to uh, get rid of the DivX on a Mac because on Windows, people who have it on Windows, they could uh, get rid of it a lot easier and stuff over there because there's a feature on it for Windows. But um, for people who have Macs like me and, and everyone else. Uh, we have to just accept that uh, DivX logo if you want to edit ABI files with, or processing and converting could take a while if you're messing around with uh, DivX, uh, the codec logo if you and stuff so I'd say just for if you're doing a fan video or whatever I say just leave it in uh, uh, AVI format because it might take you a long time to convert them unless you grab the episodes and everything like if it's a TV show uh, if you do them uh, quickly before you, you do them all at once try to uh, do everything uh, in, in, in segments or in sections or whatever because uh, like you like rendering like I'm going to show you right, right now rendering. okay I'm going to add this transition right in here okay right about there Okay. Sometimes it's a little slow because uh, because I'm using a hard drive where I'm getting all these video clips and everything is from an external hard drive. So I'm gonna go to f and and I'm just gonna mess around and show you what I've done here so far. It's the uh, that it'll show you that you need to render it when you have the red line up here. See that? It says that you need to render it. So what I'm going to show you is that uh, you got to go to sequence. Make sure you go to usually you do render all and go to both. Make sure that you render in small sections. Like I would say, make sure you render every five seconds, or I'd say sometimes maybe ten seconds or whatever, somewhere around there at max. Because if you do anything longer, it'll take a really long time to render your videos and everything. So just make sure that you. Um, render your videos in like at least five to ten seconds of editing and everything and then and then when, when, when rendering after it's done and everything and after it has processed or whatever make sure that um oh no not make sure but also you get to uh view your uh clips uh unlimitedly without any lagging or whatever without any you know slowness or whatever like you can do them in real time which is really nice compared to Sony Vegas where you still might get lagging even though you try to you know do the command shift B to uh, highlight your clips and everything and you do command shift B and you try to do them in uh, real time there and try to get rid of the lag and everything you might have to still do that even though you did a little section of it and every time you edit again or whatever it'll still cause the lag in the same spot that you really didn't do any changes so you just did changes to uh, future sections like sections beyond in the timeline and you left the times before that you didn't do anything to that so that's what I really like about uh, Final Cut is that whatever you, you haven't touched or whatever you haven't made changes to it it'll always uh, be viewable in real time until you uh, mess around with it and do changes to it like now all, all the the line is now blue and when it's blue that means it's good and you can view it in real time you don't need to render it and it won't lag or whatever because if you have it in unlimited RT it'll have an orange colored line and it'll mean meaning that you should render it and that if you don't it'll play in slow motion or whatever and then you won't get real time playback so that's what I'd say is just mess around with the uh, safe just go to safe RT and just render it and and that's pretty much uh, sometimes it might take a really long time depending on uh, the effects and everything that you're doing and that's pretty much similar to the same way that uh, Sony Vegas works it's just that uh, it's just a little different so that's what I'm saying is uh, so I know that uh, it, feel, it might feel like it, it'll take a long time but that's what what editing is, it takes uh, a long time if you want a really nice video and everything. So, I'm gonna
now you don't uh, see anything uh, saying that you need to render or whatever. And that's pretty nice and pretty much what I do to get my videos to, when I'm doing a bad video or whatever, as uh, to follow to the Beaver song here in Final Cut, is uh, usually I just uh, try to zoom in and, uh, as much as possible. And there's a special way to zoom in, which is a special button right here. This button right here will let you zoom in as much as possible. And I would uh, zoom out a little bit because uh, I don't want to zoom in all the way. I used, like right now what I have is a good edit. Undo that zoom in. And I'll just leave it to red there. But I was just trying to show you that you can zoom in as much as possible to get down so that you, you can follow the beat of a song or, or whatever you want to edit really closely to get your video clips to come in really nice and, and everything. You can add the transitions and everything really nice and there's two different ways to, to place your transitions you can place them uh you can place the transition alignment you can have a star on edit have it centered on edit which this is what it looks like when it's centered on edit and this is what it looks like when it's uh let's see where do i have one that's uh i'll go to like right here this is where it's on uh, start on edit this is what it looks like and this is when it's on center and I usually don't have it on end on edit, I really don't have that. I don't really do that that much. I usually do the start on edit, which is this one, and then the center on edit, which is this one. And I'm uh, doing my transitions, because it, come it comes in really nice. And a lot of times I'll do a center on edit, because it comes in really smooth uh, on my transitions. And what I have right now is a dissolve, to, which is uh, dip to color dissolve. And uh, you just go to your, uh, video effects and which they're also called filters as well so just remember that they're both your effects are called uh, filters as well and when you when you're messing around with your effects and everything I'm going to this video clip and where 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 your effects is to pick them and drag them on is right here you pick them right in here and then when you go to your filters filters section and then you make and then you uh, grab whatever you want and you drag it on in here whatever you have like I already have which is uh, a plugin that I have which is a bleach bypass plugin which doesn't come with Final Cut you have to uh, uh, have the effects factory pro which is not free you have to uh, go to their website and I'll put a link into that uh, as well if you want to check out FX factory pro and they come in with really nice plugins and everything with really nice effects and that's pretty much uh, it in this uh, introduction tutorial to Final Cut I've showed you a little bit before and everything and that's pretty much uh, all I wanted to show you is just a little bit of what I've done in this video so far and and what it looks like and what I've done and and just uh, letting you know that I have Final Cut Pro now instead of Final Cut Express and I'll be doing a lot more tutorials in, in Final Cut and I have a uh, uh, motion and I have a uh, soundtrack and everything and that's it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and, uh, and see you later.